A comet is a tiny, frozen body in the solar system that warms up and starts to emit gases as it approaches the sun. This process is known as outgassing. This results in an apparent atmosphere or coma, and occasionally a tail as well. These occurrences are caused by how the solar wind and solar radiation interact with the comet's nucleus. The size of comet nuclei varies between a few hundred meters and tens of kilometers, and they are made up of loose clumps of ice, dust, and tiny rocky particles. The tail may extend beyond one astronomical unit, and the coma may be up to 15 times the diameter of the Earth. A comet may subtend an arc of 30 degrees, 60 moons, across the sky and be visible from Earth without the need of a telescope if it is sufficiently brilliant. Since the beginning of time, numerous cultures and religions have witnessed and documented comets. A comet's orbit is typically highly eccentric and elliptical, and its orbital period can range from a few years to potentially millions of years. The Kuiper belt and accompanying dispersed disk, which are located beyond of Neptune's orbit, are where short-period comets are born. The Oort cloud, a spherical cloud of frozen bodies that extends from outside the Kuiper belt to halfway to the closest star, is where long-period comets are assumed to have their beginnings. Long-period comets are launched from the Oort cloud towards the Sun by gravitational disturbances brought on by passing stars and the galactic tide. Before being sent into interstellar space, hyperbolic comets may make one pass through the inner solar system. A comet's appearance is referred to as an apparition. Because their central nucleus is surrounded by a long, gravitationally unbound atmosphere, comets can be distinguished from asteroids. The coma, which is the area of this atmosphere immediately around the nucleus, and the tail, which is a generally linear segment made up of dust or gas pushed out from the coma by the sun's light pressure or outstreaming solar wind plasma, are two distinct components of this atmosphere. However, long-lived extinct comets that have repeatedly orbited the sun have almost completely lost all of their volatile dust and ice, and they may eventually resemble tiny asteroids. Asteroids are believed to have formed within the orbit of Jupiter rather than in the outer solar system, giving them a distinct origin than comets. The line separating asteroids and comets has become more hazy since the discovery of active centaur minor planets and mainbelt comets. Manx comets are small entities with long-period comet orbits that resemble asteroids in the inner solar system and were discovered in the early 21st century. They continue to be categorized as comets, such C-2014 S3, Panstars. 26 Manx comets were discovered between 2013 and 2017. There are 4,584 comets that are known as of November 2021. However, considering that there are an estimated 1 trillion comet-like entities in the outer solar system, in the Oort cloud, this only represents a minuscule portion of the total potential comet population. Approximately one comet every year can be seen with the naked eye, however many of them are dim and unimpressive. Great comets are exceptionally luminous instances. Unmanned spacecraft have made several trips to comets, including NASA's Deep Impact, which blasted a crater on Comet Temple 1 to explore its interior, and the European Space Agency's Rosetta, which made history by becoming the first robotic spacecraft to land on a comet. 30 Interesting Facts About Comets 1. Comets are neither spaceships nor alien bases. The majority of people think comets are alien spacecraft or outposts. However, comets have emerged as intriguing components of the solar system with a history that goes back to the creation of the Sun and the planets. 2. Comets might have brought life and water to Earth. 
2009 saw the discovery of the amino acid glycine in a sample recovered from the comet WILD-2 by a NASA space probe. This amino acid, which is a necessary component of life, raises the possibility that comets are a source of life in some way. According to a new study, many comet crashes may have contributed to the arrival of around 22 trillion pounds of organic material on Earth as well as the energy needed to create more complex molecules from these simpler ones. The chemical makeup of the water inside a comet is comparable to that of the seas on Earth, as was also found by a team of scientists in 2011, which raises the possibility that comets may have transported water to the planet many billions of years ago. 3. Comets have their own atmospheres. Radiant heat from the sun melts the ice in comets' nuclei, releasing a gas as they get closer to the sun. The gas erupts from the nucleus, creating a thin light atmosphere that can expand to a diameter of 60,000 miles or more. This is referred to as a coma. In 2007, it was discovered that comet homes had a remarkable coma with a diameter of roughly 869,900 miles. Much bigger than the sun's diameter. 4. Comets can strike our planet. According to a study, a comet may have struck the Sahara Desert some 28 million years ago. In addition, researchers claim that a tiny stone called Hypatia that was discovered in the Sahara was made of ice from a comet or nucleus. 5. Comets are very many. Only roughly 4,000 comets have been found so far. There may be hundreds of millions or perhaps trillions of comets yet to be detected, according to research, which puts the number significantly higher than this. 6. A comet's core looks like a dirty snowball. A comet's nucleus is made up of rock, ice, and dust. These are leftovers from the solar system's creation, which took place roughly 4.6 billion years ago. One of the darkest areas in the solar system is a comet's core, which reflects only 4% of incident light. Unlike planets and stars, most nuclei are less than 10 miles across and have an irregular form because their low mass does not exert enough gravitational attraction to give them a rounded shape. 7. All comets orbit the Sun. Although comets come in a variety of sizes and shapes, they all revolve around the Sun. The Kuiper Belt is the origin of comets that finish their orbit around the Sun quickly. Beyond Neptune's orbit, there is an area of frozen bodies called the Kuiper Belt. Making an orbit takes less than 200 years. The Oort cloud gives birth to long-period comets like Ison. Near the frontier of the solar system, hundreds or thousands of times further than the Kuiper Belt, is a swarm of objects known as the Oort cloud. The orbit of a comet from the Oort cloud can last millions of years. 8. Comets have two tails, not one. Comets' tails extend behind the head of the comet as solar wind and the sun's magnetic field pull dust out of the coma. A dust particle's curled tail can extend for up to 60 million miles. The dust tail of comet Ison is estimated to be 57,000 kilometers long. Ionized gases create a distinct, blue-colored tail that extends up to 360 million miles and points directly away from the sun. 9. Comets have been observed for millennia. The Greek philosophers who created the word, komotes, which meaning, long-haired, did so around 500 BC. The comets they saw in the sky at the time were referred to as, komotes. Of course, Halley's Comet is the most well-known comet that man has ever seen. Once every 76 years, due to its orbit, it comes close to Earth. Chinese astronomers are credited with making the first observation of it in 239 BC. Some claim that it was discovered in Greece sometime about 467 BC. The idea that three comet sightings from 1531, 1607, and 1682 were likely observations of the same comet was initially put forth by Edmund Halley in 1705. It's interesting to note that Halley's comet will show up in July 2061. 10. Comets have inspired some wild superstitions. 
Comet appearances have always been seen as either indicators of imminent disaster or lucky omen since the beginning of humanity. The Roman Emperor Nero provided a typical illustration of this belief when he ordered the killing of all his live successors because he believed the arrival of a comet indicated his assassination. Before he invaded England in 1066, William the Conqueror once more interpreted the arrival of a comet as a sign of good fortune. 11. Comet leftovers create meteor showers. Comets release small rocks along their paths around the sun, creating a meteoroid stream or dust trail. A meteor shower is visible as Earth travels through the meteoroid stream or dust trail. Approximately 1 billion dust particles from comets are falling to Earth per second. 12. Comets can become extinct or explode. Comets have the potential to lose their volatile components and turn into tiny rock clumps. When they travel a little too close to the sun, the gravity of the sun can shatter them into fragments. 13. Comets are often referred to as snowy dirtballs or dirty snowballs. This is due to the fact that they are primarily made of rock, ice, gas, and dust. 14. Comets orbit the Sun in elliptical paths. A comet's orbit around the Sun follows an elliptical route, however it is far more elliptical than a planet's. 15. A comet has four components. A nucleus, a coma, an ion tail and a dust tail. 16. The nucleus of a comet contributes the vast majority of its total mass. 17. Comets exhibit a halo when they move close to the sun. The ice and gas in the comet are vaporized by the solar radiation, creating a halo around the comet. The comet's coma is the name given to the halo. 18. The ion tail of a comet results from solar winds that force the gas atoms away from the sun in a straight wind. As a result, comets appear to have an extended tail. 19. The trail of rocky debris and rock elements that a comet leaves behind as it travels along its orbital path is known as its dust tail. 20. Comets are of two regions. The Oort cloud and Kuiper belt, which are located beyond the orbits of Neptune and the dwarf planet Pluto, are thought to be the sources of comets. 21. An outer part of the solar system, the Oort cloud is located between 50,000 and 100,000 times the Sun-Earth distance. There may be dormant comets in the Oort cloud. The orbits of comets that come from the Oort cloud are millions of years long. 22. Just outside of Neptune's orbit is a ring-shaped collection of inactive comets known as the Kuiper Belt. The orbits of the comets that form here are only a few hundred years long or less. 23. A few notable comets are Halley's Comet, which Edmund Halley reported about in the 18th century, Comet Halebop, discovered in 1995, Comet Hyakotake, discovered in 1996. 24. A great comet is one that can be seen from Earth without the use of a telescope due to its brightness. About one large comet is discovered every 10 years on average. 25. A comet's nucleus is frequently composed of ice and can range in size from tiny rocks with a few meters in diameter to enormous ones with a few kilometers in diameter. 26. Perihelion refers to the location in a comet's orbit closest to the sun. Aphelion refers to the location that is farthest from the sun. 27. A comet loses some of its mass as it sublimes as it approaches the sun. A comet will eventually fragment if it circles the sun for a very long time at a very close range. In their orbits, comets can also fragment if they pass too closely by a planet. 28. Iced water, extremely cold methane, ice, carbon dioxide, and ammonia make up comets. The solar system's debris includes them as well as rock, dust, and other metallic particles. 29. Comets have two tails, a dust tail, visible to the naked eye, and a plasma tail, 
which is easily photographed, but difficult to observe with unaided eyes. 30. Impact with Jupiter In 1994, the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet had a dramatic collision with Jupiter. The comet was shattered by the planet's gravitational pull. There were about 21 observable hits in this accident. Thank you for watching. View more our channel videos.